in my foods is randomly onisi so every tuesday i will bring a tutorial to you so today's tutorial we will be revealing text or making our text appear out of nowhere of course we're starting with our clip there the first thing you want to do is grab your type tool so you can either click the t or hit t on your keyboard then we're going to just go ahead and type in our text so i'm going to type reveal text so make sure that you have the letters as big as you would like them or as small and the font that you would like and then of course go over to the graphics panel and we're just going to edit our text so i want to align and make it in the center bring it vertically and horizontally and then go back over to effect controls and just kind of mess with the sizing of it so I'm just changing the size with the scale just to get it right in the center and where you can see all of the text so you just kind of play with it and make it to where you would like it to be and what's perfect for you now once we have it the way that we would like it go on up to the effects panel it's time to apply some effects we're going to search for the crop effect this is like one of my favorite effects it's super simple so just apply it to the clip and once you have it on the clip go ahead and close off that effects panel by clicking editing get rid of anything that you're not using just so you don't have the distraction we're going to go back over to effect controls panel and start messing with our crop settings so for this particular clip we are bringing in the text from the top so we need to crop the top so let's go back over to the effects and we're going to just start kind of playing with the settings so I have 25% here and you want it to be right at the top of the letters try to think about it as we are cropping the dead space that's right above the text so now we're just going to scroll back up and always click what you want to work on just to make sure that that's what you're working on so we're clicking text we know that we're working on it and then we're going to work with keyframes so basically what we're going to do is mess with our y axis if you saw my previous video i explained that so we're going to bring our text up just to see where it starts to disappear so you can leave it there just like that or you can decide, hey, I want to crop it a little bit more so that the text doesn't have to go as high. So for example, I decided that that was a little too high. So I'm just going to go back down to crop and change that top setting from 25% to 30%. So it's as if the crop has come down a bit more. So I'm just kind of playing with things. And I, when I start to see that the letters are disappearing, then I know that I'm getting close. So I just want it to be right above the letters once i have things the way that i like it then i could just go back up and begin working on the keyframes now so i still have it selected so i know that's what i'm working on the text so i'm going to go back and mess with the y-axis or this second number for the position now we're just going to move our words just up just until they disappear and we are going to create a keyframe and you do this by clicking that little toggle animation so this is where the wording will start now we have to figure out where we want the wording to end so bring the playhead over right to where you want that to be and bring that wording right on back down right where you would like it to end up revealing itself and it automatically creates that keyframe to make sure our effects are not laggy we want to ease into our second keyframe so temporal interpolation to ease in and then temporal interpolation ease out for our first keyframe and that's pretty much it now we can play it so it's as if the text just came out of nowhere from the top so if that's the look that you're going for then you can stop here or you can make the effects come in quicker or slower just by moving that second keyframe back and forth or you may want to reveal the text from the left so you just want to do the same thing scroll back down to crop and just start messing with that left setting so I just kind of mess with things just to see where I want it to be and I like for the cropping to start right before that first letter so right before that R about 4% is perfect so you just want to scroll right on back up to your position and you want to work on those keyframes now keep in mind we've already been working on this text so we have previous keyframes so let's go back over to our first one and we're going to move our text over to the left so if you notice you cannot see the text so we need to go back up and click text so we'll be able to see the box we can't see the wording but that's okay so just drag it right off of the screen 
our other keyframe is just fine we are just going to leave it as, as is so once you play it back you'll notice that the text is revealed from the left but it's coming from the top also so you can easily stop here or you can go back down to crop and play with the bottom now so what we're going to do is just make everything zero and change our bottom setting to a different number so everything is kind of like trial and error so just try a number out and we're going to clear our previous keyframes because we don't want that same thing to happen and now we can go back over to our graphics panel and align our text make it be in the center close out that graphics panel go back to our effects control panel and now we're going to mess with our keyframes so a keyframe was created because that's where our wording will end go ahead and drag the playhead to the beginning where the text will begin to reveal itself go ahead and begin dragging the wording down to the bottom right when it disappears and create a keyframe we're going to do the same thing with our keyframes ease in for the second keyframe and ease out for the first keyframe once we render it and play we have text coming from the bottom and then we also have our text that can be revealed from the left so you can do many different things with this effect you can bring it from the top the bottom the side any direction that you would like it to be make it your own so every tuesday i will be back with a tutorial make sure you leave me a comment with something you would like to see and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and this was easy to understand and i will catch you guys in the next video peace